Alright guys, now that you understand the basics of inheritance, now I want to talk to you guys about multiple inheritance. So this is basically a way where we can inherit or get stuff from more than one class. So we can actually inherit from like three different classes if we want. So right now I'm just going to be showing you guys two, but the concept is the same no matter how many you use. So let's go ahead and make some um, simple classes that we can inherit from. And might as well, since it's always fun, to pretend we're making um, a little computer game. So I'll make like um, Mario, like if you ever played Mario on Nintendo. So what's one function that Mario can do? We'll say that he can move around. So move himself around. And we'll just make this print out something like, uh, I am, I don't know, moving, whatever. Who cares? All right. So he can move around something simple, anything. You know, this is just an example. So another class I want to make is one called Shroom. So we already know that whenever Mario eats a mushroom, or maybe he jumps on it, what does he do? He can't jump on them because, why would that do anything? He can't eat them because they're huge. Almost the size of him. Huh. Never really thought about that. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to say that he eats the shroom and uh, <laughs> probably should name it mushroom because eating shrooms make them I don't know like sound like a druggie or something but whenever he eats shrooms he goes now I am big and this is just because formatting and alright so we have two different classes right here each of them have a function in them we have a Mario class and he can move around all Mario's can move around and we also have a shroom class that whenever he eats a mushroom he grows into big Mario so now what I want to do is I want to make a class that can inherit from both of these things so we're gonna make a special class called big Mario and we're gonna create an object from this class whenever Mario eats a mushroom now it would be kinda stupid to rewrite these functions over and over again for Big Mario since we already wrote them one time. So instead of having to write or rewrite a bunch of stuff over and over, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to inherit these real quick. So I'm going to inherit from Mario and also Shroom. So what this does is whenever we create an object from Big Mario, it already has all the functionality of regular Mario and also Shroom saves us from rewriting a whole bunch of crap. Now check this out. Here's another thing that I should probably teach you. Right now, this Big Mario class has two functions in it. Even though we can't see them, they're there because we inherited them. However, anytime you make a class in Python, you see that little red line right there? It says, okay, you pretty much need to have something in this class so I don't know, that's just um, so you don't get a syntax error. So whenever you need to write something, but it's just kind of like a blank line that you don't want to add any functionality to it, you can just write the word pass. What pass means, essentially, like I said, is if you need a line, but you don't want it to actually do anything like print out anything or change your code at all, just write pass and um, it'll fix, um, it'll pretty much handle the syntax error so you don't get any um, exceptions but also allow you to I don't know it's like just look at it you guys can see it's <laughs> how do how do I explain how something does nothing hmm, kind of a riddle but I just tried it and I probably just failed at it so now let's create an object from this big Mario class so BM equals big Mario and of course now what we can do is we can call all his normal functions so we can call move Look at that, it pops right up. So even though we didn't explicitly write any functions in here, since we inherited from this Mario class, we inherited the function move. And we can also call, what else did we inherit? Eat shroom. And check this out. Pretty freaking cool. So another reason that you might use this is, let's say you wanted, um. I think whenever Mario like jumps on a flower, he can shoot fire out of his stomach. <laughs> this, 
I never really like thought about this stuff until I'm like trying to explain it. Hopefully you guys just played the game before or else I'm going to sound like an idiot. So whenever he jumps on, <laughs> whenever he jumps on a mushroom, he grows and whenever he jumps on a, a flower, he can shoot fire out of his stomach. So uh if you wanted to like make a fire class, then you could do that as well and also inherit from Mario. So of course, instead of having to write move move move, the function three different times, you just inherit from it and boom. So that's another practical example of when you would use inheritance. But for now, I am probably going to not play Mario because it would drive myself crazy. I'm going to do anything else. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.